Hi everyone and welcome to Nina Sofra. Today I will show you one Middle Eastern recipe, originally Lebanese, and it's called kibbe. The word kibbe comes from the classical Arabic word kubba, meaning ball or a lump, and in Egypt they call this meal kubeba. It's made out of minced meat, bulgur and spices. At first it might look difficult, but believe me it is not. Try to follow my steps and it will be very easy. I usually make a big batch and freeze some of them, so I could simply get them out of the freezer and immediately fry them. Fried kippah are often served as a part of a meze and are really extremely delicious. First put bulgur in some water, mix it a bit with your hands until the water becomes hazy. Change the water and then do it a few times more until the water becomes clean. Then leave bulgur for 20 to 30 minutes to soak. You can notice that the bulgur has soaked lots of water and increased its size. Drain it from any excess of the water and leave it aside. Try to drain it as much as you can. First, we will prepare the kibbe dough. Put minced beef in the food processor and inside cut onions and then put all quantity of pre-soaked bulgur. For this quantity you will need a bigger food processor or make it in two or three times in a smaller one. Then add all the spices prepared for the kibbe dough. Red paprika, cumin, black pepper, salt and cinnamon and mix it until combined. The dough should look like a smooth paste. Like this it will be much easier to form the balls later. Here you can see now the paste is just as it's supposed to be. Work the paste a little with your hands and leave it aside to rest until we prepare the filling. Put 4 to 5 tablespoons of oil in the heated pan, put the minced beef on it and stir until it changes the color. If there is any lumps of meat, try to break it with a spatula or a wooden spoon. Then add on it finely chopped onion and stir until onion softens and becomes transparent and reduce the fire to minimum. It's time to add spices. Salt, nutmeg, cloves, black pepper, cumin and cinnamon and mix them for all of them to release its aromas and blend into the meat. Then add mint in it and stir to combine it all and after a minute add roasted and thinly cut almonds or pine nuts. Mix them and leave it aside to cool off a little because next thing what we will do is to stuff kippe. Take one piece of dough in the palm of your hand and try to press and squeeze one end until you form a pointy end and in the other end with the thumb of the other hand make a hole. Press with the thumb inside almost all the way until the end, it should look like a cone. And then keep turning and pressing with the thumb to make a hole inside of the dough and thin the walls of it. It takes a little bit of practice but after first or second piece everything goes smooth. Then. After you made a hole, take small teaspoon and put the filling inside, almost to the top. And then take the ends, squeeze them together to close the meatball. Roll it a bit and again try to form the pointy ends, so in the end it will look like a torpedo shaped meatball. It, I will make it a few more times for you to see better. If you like this video and decide to make the recipe, I would be really happy if you sent me the photos of the kibbe you made. You can send it either on my Facebook or my Instagram page.
When you are finished, put them in the fridge or the freezer for an hour or two. I find them much nicer looking if I put them in the freezer. The reason for freezing is that they might fall apart if they are not chilled and put in the hot oil to fry. If you are not planning to fry them all, after these two hours place the amount you won't make immediately in the bag and put it in the freezer again. And when you are planning to fry them, just get them out and put them in the hot oil, no need to unfreeze them. Take the amount of kibbeh that you will fry out of the freezer. Then heat the oil. Take a deep pan and heat it until the temperature goes up to 175 degrees. I always put the tip of the wooden spoon in it. If I see bubbles forming around it, I know that the temperature is right. Put kibbeh in the hot oil and don't overstuff it. I try to fry them 3 or 4 at once for them to fry nicely and get a lovely dark brown color without touching each other. It will take about 5 minutes to be fried. After they are fried, put them on a paper towel to soak the excess oil. And that's it! You can serve them hot or cold with yogurt sauce, tahini sauce, tabbouleh or fatouche salad and enjoy! Thank you for watching my video recipe for a Lebanese dish called kibbe. And if you liked it, please subscribe to my channel and press the little bell to be notified of all my new video recipes. Sofra Haneya, bon appetit!